Hey guys, today we are picking up and leaving here and heading to White Sands, New Mexico. And we might be picking up a hitchhiker. Where are you headed? I don't know, the beach? Well, come on in. Actually, this is my daughter Dana who we picked up in Arizona to take on our latest adventures with us and we've been driving all day but it was through not very interesting terrain so there wasn't really much to film but we're experiencing a first after over a year of living in this bus for the very first time we're staying the night in the Walmart parking lot. I can't believe we've never done this before. I mean, what a way to impress my daughter on her first night in the bus, right? <laughs> this guy over here, he's just happy not to be driving anymore. <laughs> oh, you guys gotta try this beer though. This is the Tombstone Brewing Company and it's, it is made in Tombstone and it is delicious. Tombstone, Arizona. Yeah, they have multiple varieties, really good beer. So apparently we picked up my daughter and beer in Arizona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good morning! We're ready to continue our journey onto White Sands and check out this guy. <laughs> Went to Walmart this morning to try to find a lens cleaning kit. Turns out they don't like have them. So I got, but they did have this. The GoPro version of this was like 40 bucks and the Walmart version of this was an entire kit with the head mount, the chest mount, a wrist mount, all sorts of mounts and it was 20 bucks. <laughs> now you're going to get some fancy POV views. It's gonna be hilarious. Oh my gosh, you guys, it is the weirdest thing. You're just driving through the desert and driving through the desert and then all of a sudden you see white. At first there's like bushes growing in the white sand. Here's what it looks like. But then look up here. Look at that. That is amazing. Isn't that, it's just white. It's crazy how it just begins and ends like that. So we've learned from our experience at other national parks that it's smartest to go to the visitor center first before you go um, explore the park because you're gonna find information here that you just wouldn't otherwise know. And I don't know, it's fun. They always have cool little memorabilia and stuff, right? Gotta get my little staff thing. Staff medallion, That's right. magnet, something like that. All right, we're gonna get our passport stamped in the in the visitor center here. This is like our tradition. So you better find what page that's on. Oh, my mask is falling off. Get I know, it's so, weird. it's so weird having to go back to masks again. Okay. Found it? Onward. Let's do this. No. Okay. Get to do a good one. Wait, are we in the, am I on the right page? No. Hold on. We're not in the Rocky Mountain section. Oh. 60, she said. 60. I almost put it on the wrong page. Thank Jesus. you for that. Somebody knew exactly what page. That's so cool. Probably the lady that works here. <laughs> We're in the gray section now. First, first time in the new section. Nice. Here we go. Excellent. I didn't ruin it this time. <laughs> nice. Thank you for your help on that one. We would have put it on the wrong page for sure. <laughs> cool fireplace, huh? This is a neat building. It's very unique. It was constructed in 1936. Oh, wow. Oh, no kidding. No, not a lot of the are constructed in the side anymore because it's so resource intensive. Right? It's pretty neat when you feel like that. Yeah, for sure. The architecture is beautiful. Oh, little owl. It's a finger puppet. Look how cute it is. Little, oh, look at the raccoon. <laughs> the 
They're so cute. There's even a bird finger puppet. I wish I had little kids. I want these. Just buy it for me. <laughs> I'm a big kid. <laughs> that works. White on white. Blanco sobre blanco. Oh, all the animals are turning white that live here. I had no idea there'd be sharks in a desert. Okay, right here. Here's a gypsum rock deposits in the mountains up here. And then water, rainfall, and snow melt washes through the gypsum rocks down into the lake bed, this little dry lake bed right here. And then the water evaporates out and leaves all the selenite crystals behind, which then break down into the gypsum sand that fills this whole dune field. Thank you. Did she get her bracelet? Did Billy come out? Got Mike got his staff medallion. Very cute. And then we just got the little token that I'm going to stick a magnet to for our magnet collection. Because they're only a dollar. That's why we get these. We were just walking out and I looked to my right and there's a second gift shop. So we had to come in here. This is probably like the Aramark one where all the same things are just like a little more expensive. But they tend to have a lot more things. Look, they have a really cute patch. Too bad we don't collect patches. courtyard oh look at this there's a model of that whole valley what's that valley called to 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 Tularosa we are right there and we're gonna head into the dunes drive here all the way out there man it's crazy to see a scale model of it Mm -hmm. Really interesting. So these on the left and right side are the mountain ranges that have those layers of gypsum rock underneath and then all the rainfall and snow melt washes the water down. Where's the dry lake bed? Oh here, um, Lake Lucero. And then the water evaporates and leaves behind the selenite crystals oh, which then crumble down into uh, the gypsum sand. So scientifically, what makes this so interesting is that gypsum, I think, is the only sand that is an evaporite sand instead of a, what's Silica. the other one? A disintegrated sand, I think is the right word, when rocks crumble down into smaller particles, right? Isn't that called disintegration? Probably. Yeah. So this is a child's footprint. Notice how he was wearing uh, some Converse stars. <laughs> This guy was barefoot right here. You can see that. I don't know about this one. Had they call that footprint, but I That's am a, a sloth footprint. Oh, is it? Oh. Yeah, that, you gotta look at the picture up oh, here, Oh yeah, man. look at that. Human footprint inside, inside of sloth track. Juvenile sloth track. Look at their big old curved claw. Oh my God. See, those are neat. Like sloths have gone backwards. This is like what we're talking about when they say sloths here. These are not like your, the tree sloths you find in, in South America or wherever. Like. Prehistoric man eating sloths, obviously. Yeah, there you had to battle these things for survival. <laughs> this one over here is a good one. Oh, yeah, look at that. Action Are you shot. kidding me right now? David and Goliath. It's a good thing those things still don't exist. Well, that was fun, but now let's go see the real deal. You guys, ready? Let's do this. Yeah. about to enter White Sands National Park. Fancy park pass. For reals right now. This will actually put us at over, probably like $60, $50 over what we would have paid if we'd done it individually. So 
are you guys a bus company? No. This oh. is our Bussy okay. McBus face. Just making sure, because uh, we have a bunch of people, like, uh, tour buses come in and they get charged different fees. So. Oh, no, no. We're just... Uh, this is our house. This is our house. This is so cool. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All righty. So, uh, would you guys like a mask? Oh, yes, please. Here you are. And then we just ask that you stay hydrated. And remember, since it's time change today, we close at 6 o'clock. Oh, thank you. Yeah. That's kind of cool for time change today. Yep, yeah, you're so right. So, what time is it right now? Uh, right now, it is... Okay, my watch caught up. We're good. All right, we're good. Thank See you. Later. Later. Look how white it is out there, you guys. It's like we're driving in the snow. Now we're talking. It's beginning to look a lot like white sands. <laughs> what did Mike say earlier? This would be the perfect Christmas for me. Yeah, perfect Christmas for you because it's not uh, um, it's not cold and it's still we still got snow I would have no oh, complaints a about walk that there you walk on. yeah 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 there's a boardwalk out into the sand and pavement ends are we gonna be driving on the sand I'm gonna say yes it's still some kind of a maintained hard pack road though. Watch out for machines, people, and weather. Okay. We are actually driving on the sand now. Oh my god. It's like driving on ice, looks like it. It's starting to be like blindingly bright. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. This is awesome. Sunset stroll starts here at yeah. Look at this, you guys. We're just driving into white oblivion. This is crazy, you guys. I feel like we're going into places bus shouldn't go, like it's going to be too icy or something. Right? It seems like it should be dangerous. This is like, like, honestly, like, I can't get rid of the feeling that I'm driving on ice right now. Like, I can't get that out of my mind. It's just like this constant thing that the bus is going to start slipping or we're going to run into like and slip into a snow bin. Like I can't get that out of my feeling. That's so it's funny. It's so like snow here. It's very surreal. It's surreal how white it is. So it turns out there's several areas where you can pull off and park and get out and play and explore in the white sand, but as you're driving through the main road through the park, it makes a giant loop and comes back again. So if you passed a place you really wanted to stop, it's okay. You can go around the loop and come back to it. Go. We made it. Did you bring her out? <laughs> Mama Kitty, what's going on? She needs some dirt oh, yoga. She needed yoga really bad in the morning, huh? She's been cooped up in the bus all day yesterday, all night last night in the Walmart parking lot, and this is the first time she's got to come outside. Are you so happy now, rolling in the biggest sandbox in the world? Do you love it? <laughs> she loves it. I could tell. Oh, she loves it. <laughs> You're a goofball, mamacita. <laughs> it's kind of, the sand is really weird under your feet. It's kind of like crunchy. It, like it has crunchiness on the surface. Like it almost feels salty. Like, I don't know. But underneath it's incredibly, incredibly soft. Oh, this is just from probably whatever they spray on the sand in the parking areas that has that hard, crunchy feel. Because when you walk over here, it feels soft like baby soft. Oh, oh right? <laughs> it's kind of awesome. <laughs> this is really cool. Oh, it's so cold. It's I know down underneath the surface it's really cold, huh? Oh, this is cool. Oh man, I wish we had those sleds. We totally blew it, you guys. We were at the visitor center and we didn't ask about those little plastic sleds that people use to go sledding here. We missed our chance. We could get the kayak. We could <laughs> kayak down a dune. 
<laughs> oh man, we need those sleds right now. So bad. I can't believe we missed out on the sledding. I think I'm going to go on that dune over there because it's on the other side of the road. Uh huh. And it'll be really pretty on the other side, I think. Like just endless, pristine, pristine with no footprints or anything. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah. And now I'm going to set up my ham radio. I'm going to activate this thing. That's why I got all these little poles sticking out right here. Part of the antenna setup. So, yeah, let's get on this. All right, have fun with that. I am. Mama Katie just seems to be loving the sand. I know. It's so fun climbing the hills and just sinking in the sand. So soft. I don't know what it is, you guys, but there's something so peaceful and relaxing about being out here in the sand. We're just having this totally zen moment. Dana just <laughs> crashed in the sand. It's kind of interesting because it's really, really warm in the sun right now, but the sand is still maintaining this completely cool temperature. And then when you start touching it and like running your hands and your fingers across the sand, it's so soft, it just becomes addictive. You just can't stop touching it. I'm just like, making designs in the sand and everything just flows all soft and peaceful and we're just having a totally zen moment out here at White Sands, New Mexico. Okay, so we're sitting here all silent in the sand and then I said, look, I made a peacock. And then Dana said, I made a stick man. <laughs> We're just having a great time out here in the sand. It's kind of interesting as you look around. I feel like everybody else is feeling as zen as we are. Like there's just people hanging out in their own little clusters, like sitting on the top of the sand dunes over here or playing frisbee over there. And there's Mike on his sand dune doing his poda activation over there. Like everybody's just kind of like going off in their own little zone, in their own little world, doing their own little thing. And you can hear their voices kind of drifting over on the air and it just feels super peaceful. It's just a nice vibe out here. Clearly Mama Kitty thinks I put this chair here for her and she's sadly mistaken. <laughs> Listen lady, that's where I'm sitting. <laughs> It's like I love this chair. I just love this chair. <laughs> you cute cat. Dana and I are just chilling at the bus, but look who's coming home. Our intrepid POTA activator. That's right. I've got 37 contacts up there as far away as New York. Holy smokes. No, it's pretty cool. I love it. So, a good. successful day hamming it up. Yeah, it was fun. It was fun. It was cool. Just like, I love like walking right into the middle of why we're here, you know, whatever park you're at and just being like able to see or be near like the main attraction, in this case, the dunes and then climb up on top of, you know, climb up on a dune and set everything up and make a contact. That was great, man. Yeah. This is what the sand looks like when nobody has walked on it yet. Just like the Sahara Desert, like real sand.
sunset time is so surreal and so pristine out here. Everything is just white and blue and pink right now. It's so pretty. I love it. I definitely recommend coming to White Sands and staying out in the dunes until sunset. It's very magical. I'd love to be here when the moon was full. Yeah, that would be so cool. Get that moonrise shot of the dreams, like up on a dune, up there with the brush. Yeah. Cleaning the moon off. And all the dunes just glowing in blue moonlight. Yeah. You know, I have to say, it looks even more like ice and snow in this evening. The line of traffic behind us is outrageous. It's the mass exodus from uh, from the park because it closes at six and it's like almost six right now. So this is what it looks like at the end of the day after we've been at a national park all day. I got like more than 10,000 steps a day thanks to my little Fitbit here. <laughs> but uh, that was a fun day. You know, it's weird when you go to a national park and you've never been before and you've only heard about it, you just never know like what to expect. But then like once you get there, people are like spread out all over the place. It's not, not really in any congregating spot. And so there's just patches of people just yeah. enjoying well, white sands in their own way. Th the thing that's cool about the park is that the road goes in and then goes in a loop, a big loop at the end. But there's several places around that whole loop where you can pull out and park and get out and go out into the dunes. But it was it was never crowded while we were in there. Like there is enough space for you to just be completely spread out in the park. Yeah. And then like you can just go walking on the dunes everywhere. Yeah, and there's a hiking trail too. We didn't do the hiking trail. I kind of wish we would have. There's like a boardwalk that just well, snakes yeah, there's, also. There's a boardwalk also, yeah. And the hiking trail goes down to like the salt flats area. And you learn all this because you get the map on your way in to the park. I don't know if this will show up good, but this down here shows the, the little road with the loop in it. And then it shows you all the different places where you can pull out and park and go sledding and stuff, which we totally like, I can't believe we left the visitor center and we were driving, we were all like way all the way into the park. And I was like, ah, oh, sleds, we didn't get sleds. <laughs> yeah, it was like, a, like, it's one thing when, you, when you're driving the Jeep, oh, we'll just go back and get it. But we left the Jeep at the visitor's, visitor center and, took and we took in. the bus in so yeah. we could just relax and stuff. And be able to fix lunch and yeah, stuff like and that. Yeah, and it was, it was just like, oh God, I don't want to drive all the way back in the bus to go that. All but, place, but like all in all, like we're out, pretty cool place to go. Yeah, I was really like cool. surprised to like. I think you go eight miles out into the sand yeah. dunes. In and the when park. you get out there, like, you know, the the mm -hmm. sand is completely dominating, like you can see in the in the video. And like, it's so white. Make sure you bring sunglasses and yeah. probably a hat <laughs> because it is really bright on your You could literally, eyes. yeah, you could actually damage your eyes if you don't bring sunglasses. You could get snow them. blindness in the sand. Mm -hmm. It's that white. It's very, yeah, you could hurt. I had, I had it as a kid. It's not, yeah. it wasn't fun, yeah. so... We were here at a great time of year, though, because uh, the sun wasn't straight up in the sky. It was kind of off at an angle. It's early in November, so the weather was cool. It was the perfect time of year to come here. Yeah, we had a good time. That, that was that was cool, and it's just neat to to check that box off because I really, like, I'd never been there. This is my, where my dad met my mom. Uh, he was at the missile base out here, uh -huh. and uh, I just thought it was, like, neat to kind of tread in those footsteps and just kind of experience what he may have experienced while he was stationed here in the army so yeah anyway. kind of cool yeah how do you guys like the new camera 
but tell us what you guys think of the comments. <clears throat> we shot this all on the new camera, so we're interested to hear what you guys think about that. Wait, just for old time's sake, I have to show you. Right? That for four years, this is the dinosaur we've been filming on. And I mean that in age and in size. This thing is huge and so old. Right. And as you well probably know, the lens is very pockmarked and pitted, so it was, it was definitely time for a new camera. Yeah. So. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. We will be back next week. Also, if you guys are interested in watching uh, me do my ham radio activations, um, I'll post something right here for you guys to go over and check it out, or it'll also be in the description. And uh, that way, um, I don't clog up this page with all my ham radio nonsense and nerdiness. And uh, you guys can go over and check it out on the other page, all right? So we'll see you guys next week, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Bye.